Um, well, I went to uh, the school at Iracana. Mm -hmm. At that time, we were all in the same school district, the Wheatland School. So, and that was seven miles from Bicycle, from the town of Bicycle here. And as you know, at that time, uh, the government uh, sent out as a uh, rule that all all schools should be five miles apart, so they're accessible to uh, all this to many students. Yeah, well, when I went to school, it wasn't that uh, it wasn't the wood burning stove or anything. It was more than one one room in the schoolhouse, and uh, we actually that the elementary school, then the junior high high school was just opening up, and uh, went to school there. In the classroom, we, uh, the students all had their own desk, and we had pencils and scribblers. We had a few textbooks. Not everybody had a textbook. And the teacher would um, write. We weren't supposed to write in the textbooks because uh, they were saved for the next year for the next kid in that grade. And the grades were 1 to 8, and uh, there would be about 18 to 20 kids. And our subjects, we'd copy out of our textbook or off the blackboard, whatever the teacher had written. And in those days, they didn't have photocopiers. So there was uh, kind of, a, it's a wooden, it was sort of like a book. It had a hinge in the middle and a frame around each side of the bo a, a board. And uh, they measure about eight by 12 or something like that. And the teacher would make clear gelatin, fill those with that. And then she would write something on a paper with an uh, indelible pencil dampen the gelatin, put that on, and uh, the ink would go into there. And then when you wanted to make copies, you would just dampen it again and put a clean piece of paper on. And every so often she'd have to clean it all out and take and put new stuff in because it would get full of ink. Well, there was a school bound now, but because I lived uh, just a short distance away, I did. I did uh, my parents made sure I got to school on time most days. <laughs> Well, we didn't come to town that much because we used to go to school and come home and change clothes. And in the wintertime, we played out in the snow banks. And, uh, in the summertime, I don't know, we just found things to do. We used to come to town in the wintertime to skate, but not too often. Rain. My, those days, we didn't have sports and stuff the same, you know. At that time, um, in the early days, of course, um, it, each community was, was responsible for their schools. And, uh, and they were also responsible for naming their schools and for, being, uh, and for keeping those schools uh, circulating and for the financing with some help from the government. So, but many people in the whole district didn't have uh, any experience with carpentry particularly, but they got together and they managed very well, you know, to build a school and, and to be on the board. And, and, and like we were in the country and um, with only so many, so few kids at school, we were like, everybody was involved, the, the little kids in the grade eights and, uh, we played all kinds of games. Like there was no segregation. There was, we were just all, all the kids were all together.